two rounds. I think he's just going to stay mad until he gets Antifermo in the ring again. Oh, no. Well, we are ready for this middleweight action. Both two and two, he avenged both of those defeats. Geraldo, 13 Las Vegas. The scoring is on the 10-point must system. Nine points or less to the loser of a round. They're Candelion, and we're ready to go with first-round action. Hagler in the red trunk, circling to Vito Antifermo in this very same ring last November. Round TKO over Johnny Le Cicero at Portland, Maine. And he, how many fight in Portland, Maine? And he sends Geraldo down. Good on his feet. And he can really punch with that right hand. That's well, what he hurt Hamani with the foot. Not only quick, but it's tough. It's hard. Rear also said he was the hardest puncher they had faced. Of course, Sugar Ray. Before the fight, maybe too relaxed. He was sitting down while he was. Was in Sonora, Mexico. Ranked number five by the WBA, number eight by the WNU on the Sports Spectacular. There's that slip. Saw that uh, Hatch will bear with us through the action, which we expect plenty of. Hagler and Geraldo. This way, we're going to have a 10 round fight. Oh! Gerardo was backing away, went to the ropes. Now Hagler's trying to move over and get the fellow in front of him. He's... Round two. As usual, a good Mexican can crown champion. Perhaps with some justification. A right hook landed. I thought that Hagler hit him low with both those punches. They were both borderline punches. That was... Live middleweight action, round three from Las Vegas, Nevada. Geraldo seems to set his own fake ball out of there, second. There's that. Marco Geraldo handled by Lothbrook, but you can see he's actually puzzled in there, Marvin. He's trying different things, even more effective. Right hand lead just grazed Geraldo. Third round particularly. Less than a minute to go, round number three. Scheduled for... Against the veteran Jimmy Young should be a great. One thing about being a puncher, the, the way Hagler it so. Hello. Hello. Against the ropes, that way he can le lean back. Let's see now if Hagler doesn't try to crowd him. Round action. The winner will have had even at this point. I don't think anybody would really argue that. It does that was evident in the pre-fight interviews with him in June next month. You, you mentioned. Hagler's been landing some low blows, Timmy. Just let him. Hagler popping that jab, backing. Geraldo is a big, big punch in this fight. He's going to have his hands full right until that final. Preventing, it's preventing uh, some. Great problems for Hagler. It was a draw. He didn't. He thought he was the champ, and he didn't win it. Now he's in in the next four rounds. Certainly in the eyes of. Geraldo. Geraldo was a busy fighter, but he's an arm puncher. He slaps. Straightened up Geraldo, and has got him going backwards. But now he plants at Hagler, but didn't appear to phase him. Counts. That's exactly right. We'd like to alert our stations along the line. We'll be going to a station. Warnings this round for low blows. See if he takes a point away at the end. Up and coming heavyweight, everybody. Hagler able to duck under most of Geraldo's blows. Now he comes up from underneath and then Geraldo into the Hagler corner. We are halfway through this scheduled 10 rounder. Let's see if he's more effective this way. Gil Clancy with Tim Ryan, ringside here. At Switching back and forth now. Twice he switched around, left his southpaw stance. That reminds me of like a dog chases a cat into a corner. It didn't hurt, but what it does is score points. Before this fight, we mentioned that Lope Sanchez, who handles... Hagner banging into the body. Has to win today. Now Hagner's back. Now he's clever again. Two clever, experienced fighters. Oh. Round number seven. He'll walk forward all the time. Other guys like fellas that make clever moves and count the scoring. The referee is not involved. Big day to good flat footed there, inviting Hagler to go at him and just waiting to counter punch. That right hand. That's. Moraldo's like I was doing a tattoo job on him. 
Good round for Marco Seraldo. He's, he's trying everything. He's just switched around again. Consecutive jabs. Snapping Aralo's head back. Aralo counter punching well again. They can really bust you up with those bald heads, and he's the guy that rubbed his head. Aralo, you begin to think if he had. Sometimes tend to influence judges. Hagler finished this last round very well. Here's great coming up. Marco Seraldo doing a superb job throw. against the number one round. Seraldo's corner, he looked a little tired. When you get tired, that's when you're going to have to stand in. Hagler is really determined in this round, putting continual pressure now. Round scheduled for 10. Seraldo's yeah, a little tired. That's right. Marvin. Hagler going to the body. Right, this is round number nine. Tim Ryan and Gil Clancy live at ringside. Something together against Geraldo appears to be tiring. The tenth round will be just academic. We still have it. He's getting three shots now because even when he misses, Geraldo. Hagler's jab is harder than the finish. Less than a minute to go in the ninth round. Under 30 to go in round. Here's that Araldo, who doesn't have great power when he's fresh. First, get off first. All Let's right, see well, if he does it. Your understanding of Spanish is Hagler's going to keep coming at him. Hagler can't be absolutely certain that he's got this punch. Geraldo now, though. Geraldo has to punch himself. He has to keep punching. Right hand snapped Geraldo's head back. Okay. He's tired. He was not sent into the ropes with a punch. Some of the other two fights were too easy. Boy, you're Some... not kidding. Living inside. Getting off now. He's trying. Planting him. Less than a minute to go in the fight. Hagler keeps coming. Hagler scoring inside with a combination. Less than 30 seconds to go. A lot of Mexican fans, and he put on a great show here. That's the end of the fight. Ford scores 97-93. Decision marvelous. Marvin Hagler. And uh, Marvin got himself more than he can bargain for here this afternoon. As me, I've been training hard, running these long rows and everything, you know, and uh, because I had a death in the family with everybody up there. But the next back here at Caesar's Palace in just a moment. Okay.